let's talk about your oral health and how important it is to keep your teeth and gums healthy. Your oral health can affect your overall health. Teeth are important for chewing, talking, and your appearance. But did you know that problems in your mouth could create problems elsewhere in your body? Most likely the first thing you think of when you hear the words oral or dental health is tooth decay. Let's talk about that a little. Tooth decay is caused by several contributing factors. The bacteria found in plaque, sugary foods and drinks, and improper or neglected toothbrushing. Bacteria in the plaque in your mouth turns food, or sugar, on your teeth into acid. Let's look at the tooth structure to better understand how acid affects your teeth. The enamel is the outside layer. It is the hard, protective covering of the tooth. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body, even harder than your bones. The dentin is underneath the enamel. Dentin makes up the largest part of a tooth. It is hard, but not as hard as enamel. The pulp is the inside layer of the tooth. It is the live part of the tooth and has blood vessels and nerves. When the bacteria in your plaque mixes with foods we eat, an acid attack occurs. It can destroy the tooth's enamel, and after repeated acid attacks, a hole or cavity can be formed. Your diet includes all the food you eat each day, whether the food is healthy or not, like junk food. Your diet needs to include a variety of foods in order for you to have good nutrition, good oral health, and good overall body health. Snacks between meals are a great way to provide your body the food it needs for daily growth, energy, learning, healthy bones, skin, and teeth. But if you make poor choices, snacks can cause dental problems. Frequent soda pop, energy drinks, sweet tea, and other sweet beverages can contribute to tooth decay when sugar combines with bacteria in the mouth to form an acid. Even diet sugar-free soda pop contains acid which can harm your teeth. Each sip of a sweetened beverage can cause an acid attack that may cause tooth decay. This list represents some of the possible results of untreated tooth decay, destruction of a tooth, possible pain and infection, difficulty in speaking and chewing, difficulty concentrating, loss of self-esteem, lost school days, poor nutrition, and cost of dental care. Besides tooth decay, harmful habits or activities can damage your teeth. Please keep foreign objects out of your mouth. Don't use your teeth to cut things, hold on to pens or pencils, bite your nails, crack nuts, chew ice, or open bottles or hairpins. When participating in any contact sport, always wear a mouth guard. If an accident occurs and a tooth is knocked out, seek immediate treatment within 30 minutes. Do not clean the knocked out tooth. Do not touch the wound site. Keep the tooth wet. Put the tooth in a glass of cool water, milk, or wrap in a clean, wet cloth. All tobacco products are harmful. Examples of tobacco products are smoking, e-cigarettes or vaping, smokeless tobacco, cigars, and pipes. E-cigarettes are known by many different names. They are sometimes called e-cigs, e-hookahs, mods, vape pens, vapes, tank systems, and electronic nicotine delivery systems, or ENDS. Most e-cigarettes contain nicotine, which has several negative health effects. Besides nicotine, e-cigarette aerosols can contain substances that can harm your body. This includes cancer-causing chemicals and tiny particles that reach deep into your lungs. E-cigarettes are harmful for everyone and are illegal for teenagers in Missouri until the age of 18. Smoking can cause stained teeth, increased plaque and calculus buildup, bad breath, mouth sores, gum disease, and possible tooth loss. Smoking also causes an increased risk of mouth cancer. Smokeless tobacco can cause tooth abrasion, gum recession, increased tooth decay, tooth discoloration, bad breath, nicotine addiction, and increases your chance of oral cancer. Oral piercings can cause tooth and mouth problems too. Oral piercing can cause a variety of problems in your mouth. A chipped or cracked tooth, a possible infection of the pierced site, which could affect your overall body health, an abscess or cyst at the site of the piercing, possible nerve damage, an allergic reaction to the poor quality metal used for the pierced object, and an increased risk for hepatitis and tetanus. Eating disorders can affect both men and women. They are serious but treatable mental and physical illnesses. 
National data estimate that 20 million women and 10 million men in America will have an eating disorder at some point in their lives. Eating disorders can include many different types of eating problems. A few include bulimia, anorexia, binge eating, and many more. Eating disorders can cause damage to not only your body's health and well-being, also your teeth. Repeated vomiting, which occurs with the eating disorder bulimia, can destroy the enamel of teeth and lead to decay and other tooth problems. Methamphetamine is a powerful, highly addictive stimulant that affects the central nervous system and is very dangerous. Methamphetamine can be used in many forms, smoking, snorting, pills, and injecting into your body. The photo of the teeth you see is an example of what can happen to your teeth if you use meth. The appearance of teeth of people addicted to methamphetamines are usually black, stained, rotting, and crumbling. Many times the teeth cannot be saved and must be removed. The extensive tooth decay is likely caused by a combination of poor oral hygiene, dry mouth, poor diet, including frequent drinking of sugary soda pop. Methamphetamine itself is also acidic, which is very destructive on teeth enamel. Now let's examine some other things you may not know. The number one cause of tooth loss in adults is not tooth decay, but gum disease, also known as periodontal disease. Gum disease is a bacterial infection in the mouth caused by the accumulation of plaque and calculus, or tartar, on the teeth. Gum disease can lead to bone loss in the bone structure that support the teeth. Gum disease is not reversible. Gum disease is a chronic, progressive infection that requires diligent, professional dental care and good home care. Gingivitis is a mild form of gum disease and the most common. However, it is reversible, whereas gum disease is not. Gingivitis does not affect the surrounding bone. It only involves the gum tissues around the teeth. Some common signs of gingivitis include bleeding when brushing or flossing, puffy, red tissues between the teeth, and pain or tenderness. Periodontal or gum disease can be mild, moderate, or severe. The mild and moderate forms are usually painless. The severe stage of gum disease is the most destructive form and can result in the permanent loss of the gums, underlying bone, and eventually the teeth. Signs of gum disease typically include bleeding gums, chronic bad breath, receding gums, and loose teeth. Scientists have found a link between gum disease and other conditions like diabetes, heart disease, preterm, and low birth weight babies. Why should you be concerned about diabetes and gum disease? Diabetes is on the rise in children and in young adults due to poor nutrition, lack of exercise, and obesity. If you have diabetes, gum disease may affect your ability to control your blood sugar. Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to serious complications like kidney disease, vision and skin problems, nerve and heart issues, plus many more. Why should you be concerned about gum disease and heart disease? Because heart disease is the number one cause of death in the U.S. Evidence suggests that the bacteria found in your mouth from gum disease may have an effect on blood vessel walls, causing inflammation and blockage of blood flow to the heart and brain. This blockage could result in a stroke or a heart attack. Why should you be concerned about gum disease in pregnancy? If you are pregnant, you may be more prone to develop gum disease, and gum disease could trigger a premature birth. Premature babies can have lifelong problems like learning disabilities, vision and lung problems, and many others. As a young adult, what you do now can prevent many health problems from occurring later in life. By investing only four minutes each day, both tooth decay and gum disease can be prevented. That's two minutes twice each day spent on brushing and once a day for flossing. Practice proper toothbrushing. Tilt the soft bristled toothbrush at a 45 degree angle against the gum line. Brushing only two to three teeth at a time, gently brush the outside, inside, and chewing surfaces of all your teeth. Use short back and forth or circular strokes. Don't forget to brush your tongue to remove bacteria and to freshen your breath. To floss properly, Use your middle or index finger. Wrap about 18 inches of floss around them on each hand. Leave about an inch or two of floss between your hands. Now, use the inch or two of floss and gently follow the curves of your teeth, sliding the floss up and down both sides of the tooth's surface a few times. Be sure to go below the gum line. You must make the personal choices to keep your mouth and body healthy. 
choose healthy snacks and eat less foods that are high in sugar. Limit soda pop drinking and drink water the majority of the time. If you are thinking about starting to smoke, don't do it. And if you smoke, quit before the damage is permanent. If you are thinking about getting an oral piercing, forget about it. You may end up with some serious and painful problems. If you're hiding an eating disorder, ask for help and speak with your school counselor or any counselor for advice. Talk to your school counselor or nurse for confidential nutritional counseling. Go out and get active, have some fun, and enjoy life with your family and your friends. Don't take risks with your life. Stay away from alcohol, drugs, and tobacco products. If you have a mouth piercing, have diabetes, or are pregnant, please take good care of your mouth and your body to stay healthy. Your oral health contributes to your overall health, and by practicing good oral hygiene habits, you can help prevent tooth decay, gum disease, and possibly some serious health issues. Brush two times a day and floss daily for good oral health. Your teeth were meant to last you a lifetime, so it's up to you to keep your mouth healthy. Thank you for your attention.